Thanks, Doug. Yes, we're here at the official opening of the Penticton Waterfront Walkway, and it's turning out to be a day of fun and celebration. There was a slip and slide and plenty of beachgoers along the shores of Lake Okanagan in Penticton recently. The city officially opened the new and improved Okanagan Lake Waterfront Walkway, and it appears to have made a splash with residents. We think it's wonderful. Lots of room to walk and kids to run up and down and skateboard and everything. Beautiful. <laughs> and what about you? So, well, same thing. Yep, we're together and uh, amazing thing that they've done here. And, uh, just wonderful. The $2.3 million upgrade, which was supported by $1.2 million in federal gas tax revenues, features a widened walkway, four meters in width and one kilometer long. It extends from the SS Sycamus to the Peach Concession Stand. It allows people to enjoy the Okanagan waterfront unimpeded without having to worry about trip hazards or narrow pathways. It's um, mobility more accessible than the previous walkway was. Uh, so we're very proud of uh, the final product. We're getting great reviews from the community. I think that it's going to be something for the city to be proud of for the next 20 to 50 years. One of the biggest improvements to this walkway are these ramps which lead straight onto the beach and this one in particular leads straight to the water. For people who are mobility challenged, the ramps provide easier access to both the beach and the lake, an improvement Dan Bauer says allows him to be more independent. That was the big thing. I can get down there but then trying to get back up and everything, it was a difficult challenge and uh, now they've got you so you can get right down to the water's edge and once you get to the water's edge, you know, I'm free from the chair <laughs> and, and life's good. The fact that my husband can get down to the beach is really awesome because I like the beach. But I generally tend to stay away from it just because he can't go. So this has opened that opportunity. And plus looking at the kayaks here, it does create that opportunity as well that he can get down to the water and transfer into a kayak and away we go. My personal perspective is those people that are mobility challenged, um, they're an important part of our community and for years their needs simply weren't addressed whether it was by the public or private enterprises well the reality is uh, it's a different world today and just because you're in a wheelchair or using a walker why shouldn't you be able to go down on the sand into the water safely and enjoy it as the rest of us can do. Further improvements to the walkway include leveled curb and sideway letdowns for those with mobility aids. There are also ramps to mobility accessible picnic tables and a surface upgrade featuring a recycled rubber surface in the treed section by the peach concession stand. One of the concerns is that uh, when you put cement around trees, the trees die. So uh, we have over a thousand square feet of rubberized product that allows the trees to absorb moisture and is uh, environmentally friendly. People particularly like the softness of that surface as well. And for those seeking shelter from the sun, the city has planted over 47 trees along the beach to enhance opportunities to stay in the shade. Reporting from the new and improved waterfront walkway in Penticton, I'm Marianne Ockel for Go Okanagan.